One neighbor hated the look of the design and materials so much that she complained to the city and filed a lawsuit. The original Gary residence. Let's learn some of the stories behind this iconic architecture. To those who aren't familiar with the evolution of Gary's work, the home can be visually challenging. Gary used the project to try out unusual materials and deconstructed forms that would become his trademark. He wrapped three sides of the house in unfinished, cheap materials such as chain link fence, corrugated galvanized steel, and plywood. The simple materials, which he first developed an interest in while working at his grandparents' hardware store, extend outwards, wrapping around three sides of the original Dutch colonial style bungalow. The interior also went through considerable change, and this was partly out of necessity. Continuing with some of the themes from the exterior, Gary stripped some of the walls to reveal the framing, joists, and wood studs beneath, and in his own words, engaging the house in a dialogue by cutting away from it, exposing some parts, and covering up others. The design drew as much controversy and criticism as it did praise. But most importantly, it drew in important clients, allowing Gary the freedom to design greater projects, propelling him even further into architectural fame. 